Hello everyone, this is Praveen from Automation Home Blog. Today I am going to demonstrate automating the AngularJS application using a protector automation tool on real Android device using APM. So if you are new to the blog, uh, you can uh, click on protector and you can uh, go with the basic, uh, so basic software and prerequisites to be installed on your machine. So this is uh, related to the installing and configuring the protector and uh, I'm including the scripts on webshop ID so you can download and install webshop ID and uh, here you can go with the uh, reference URL uh, which will guide you through installing and configuring the webshop ID so you can click on APM tab which will open the links and you can click on the tab so which will guide you through installing the APM uh, installing the required software to work with APM. So for this you need to have a JDK installed on your machine. The Java path since uh, I am using a webshop ID so I am ignoring this step. So I am not uh, using the Eclipse ID for it's using a protector script. And install Android SDK and set the path for Android SDK. And uh, you need to install APM on your machine. If you are working with any programming or scripting language to work with uh, APM, you need to download and install the client library. For example, if you are working with Java, uh, Java with APM, you need to install the Java client APM Java client library to work with APM. Similarly, you have a, a uh, client library uh, for the C sharp, Python, and Ruby as well. But if you are working with a protector to work with APM, you do not need to download or install any client libraries. So when you install the APM. That itself install the Node.js modules and uh, related uh, uh, related uh, JavaScript libraries. And uh, these are the phone libraries, and you need to enable the developer options and USB debugging on your on your mobile device. And you, this is the sample script. This is a sample script for executing the sample uh, demo script for executing the protector script on angular js application okay so let me open my so this is my uh, spec test spec so this is the application so here i wantedly added browser dot sleep browser dot sleep so just as part of the demonstration so i want my uh, make my i want to make my script bit uh, execution bit slow so that is the reason I have added browser dot sleep. So when you are uh, working on a real applications, if you are working on a test script, it's not required to add a browser dot sleep. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate. Just have added it to make the script uh, execute bit slow. So this is the uh, configuration file which I will be running. So since uh, so it will be running on web driver. So let me run uh, instead of directly jumping into the APM. Is using the protect script on APM. Uh, just we will uh, run the same script on PC on Chrome browser. So before that, uh, make sure that uh, web driver server is already running. So web server is already running. For launching the web driver server, you need to run web driver hyphen manager dot start. So which will launch the web driver server. So once it is launched. Uh, just I'm executing the script so this is the configuration uh, for uh, running the script so you need to uh, configure config.conf.js so which is already demonstrated uh, in my earlier sessions just I'm executing the script which will uh, launch a chrome browser on my PC so once it is uh, done uh, we will go through the executing the script on the APN server So here if you see in the to-do list centering uh, it will perform some action and it will close the browser. So now I will execute the same script on my mobile device. For this, if you see APM server, my APM server is, by default it will be running on 4723 but uh, I have changed the port uh, number to 4733. I am updating the same thing over here. 
four seven double three. Now it will be uh, working. It will it will execute the same script on my mobile device. So we need to specify the browser uh, browser name. So here the browser and it will launch the Chrome browser. And which device is it? The Android device or iOS? Then you need to mention the Android device since uh, I'm executing the script on Android device. So this is the browser name chrome and the platform is android and so said platform android and platform version just i'm commenting it uh, since it's uh, not mandatory and device name uh, it's mandatory so i'm leaving it as blank let me open the command prompt so if you see there is only one device uh, detected by adb i have only one device to work so by default, if, if you have only a single device, then it will consider this device as a default device. If you have multiple devices or multiple emulators or combination of device and emulator, then you need to mention the name. Based on the name, it will, uh, APM server will execute the scripts uh, on the particular device based on the name. If multiple devices are connected, so if you do not specify the name, then uh, APM will get confused and it's unable to execute the script since it is a one device. Then you mention you can mention any name or if you leave it blank also then it works. Before that, uh, let me launch Android Screencast. So this will show whatever the script running on my Android device. So whatever the navigation or whatever uh, you can use Android Screencast this is a tool if you want to know more about Android installation and more about Android Screencast then direct click on this labels Android Screencast which will guide you through the installation process and how to use the Android Screencast tool so now I am running my script this is my APM server and this is my Android Screencast If you have script is same, only I have changed the configuration. Other things, everything is same. Uh, if we, if you are uh, working on browser, so whether it's the PC browser or uh, on the Chrome browser on the mobile device, nothing will be changed. Nothing will be changing. Only the configuration will be changing. So it should ideally should uh, work without any changes uh, in the test script. Ah, it has got some error. Let me look into it. So, if you look into the error, uh, it's saying something like home page to do list. Uh, okay, an unknown error operation is unsupported on Android device. So for me to solve this issue, it's very simple, but it took uh, ages to uh, understand and uh, and analyze it and uh, try to for fixing this issue. It, it's uh, it's very simple actually. So here, if you see, has part of my product set. So it has a driver dot uh, browser dot driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. So this uh, this command is used for maximizing the window on on my pc if i if i add the same uh, same command for executing the script on mobile device uh, for uh, maximizing the window on mo uh, mobile device android device so then it will show the error since you know like whenever you launch uh, any app or any browser or uh, app by default it will be in the maximize there will be no not like resizing or so if you see in our pc we we, we can uh, uh, resize our browser in the PC whereas in the mobile device there is no concept of resizing the browser by default when you launch it it will be magma okay so just I am commenting the script let me re-execute the same script again just I am deleting the console logs I am re-executing the uh, just I am clearing the APM console logs let's see uh, what will happen now 
now a chrome browser is launched has a thread by default when any app uh, when a browser or app is launched by default it will be maximized so it launched the browser so since i have uh, placed the multiple uh, browser dot clip uh, to show the demonstration so the script uh, will be executing a bit slow so here uh, you can see in the to do list it's performing some action and uh, finally it will close the browser so if you see the script uh, i have not changed anything in my script except browser dot maximize other than this the script is same okay so yeah i am able to script uh, execute the same script on my windows pc machine and in my mobile device the change is only in the maximize method uh, commenting the maximize method and another one is configuration here instead of uh, web driver i am giving the port number of apn server and the capabilities since uh, in my mobile device there are multiple apps are there i am uh, since i want to launch the browser browser name and chrome platform name and these are the, except that uh, everything is uh, look same so if you are uh, make sure like if you are working if you are executing the same script on and uh, mobile android device and on uh, pc if you have a same script if you want to run the same script on a pc chrome browser and a mobile device chrome browser so you need to add some if condition or anything so that it can uh, based on the environment if it is android this, then it should ignore this command it should ignore this command if it is a pc then it should consider this command you need to have some conditional kind of statement so that it can execute on both on a pc a browser a browser in the pc machine on your pc machine and in the android device thanks for uh, watching the demo have a nice day